Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Everyday. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to connect your Xbox controller to your PC wirelessly with Bluetooth on a Windows 11 computer. It's really quite simple to do. Now I happen to have a newer wireless Xbox controller here. This one's compatible with Xbox Series S, X, as well as the Xbox One, and also Windows 10 and 11. Now to connect it to your computer, you do need to have Bluetooth 4.0 or newer on your computer, otherwise, you may have to go back to using a USB-C cable, or you can buy a little Bluetooth dongle like this with Bluetooth 4.0 or 5.0 that would connect your controller to your computer. If you need one of these dongles or a cable, I will have them linked below in the description. Let's go ahead and dive right into connecting your Xbox controller to your Windows 11 computer. So first off on the controller itself, there's two buttons we're gonna need to connect this to our Windows 11 computer. The first one here is the Xbox button right at the top. This is the power button on the controller. And on the top here, there's a small button here with three lines. That's our connection button. So we're gonna need that button there and the Xbox button on the front. Let's jump over to my computer. All right, so over here on my Windows 11 desktop, the first thing we need to do is get into our settings. So you can head on down to your start icon here at the bottom, it looks like the little Windows logo. You can go ahead and left click on that with your mouse and it's gonna bring up your start menu. And what we're looking for is the option right here that says settings. I happen to have it in my pin section. You can go ahead and left click on settings. If you're not seeing that, you can click on all apps right here and search through your apps all the way down to the letter S and you should see settings right there. So let's find it, it's right there, it says settings. Go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna bring up all your settings for your Windows 11 computer. Now from there, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different options here on the left hand side. And the option we're looking for here is Bluetooth and devices. You can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna take you to the Bluetooth and devices section. Now for myself, because I have Bluetooth built into my computer, you'll see it says Bluetooth right here. And there's a little toggle switch over here on the right hand side and it's turned on. If that is turned off, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you turn that on just like that. Now at the top here, you'll see all your paired Bluetooth devices. I've got my headphones, I've got my cell phone, and there's an option here that says add device with a big plus sign. Go ahead and left click on that with your mouse, and another menu is gonna pop up that says add a device. Choose the kind of device you want to add. And the first option here says Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens, audio devices, controllers, and more. Go ahead and left click on that, and your computer is gonna start searching for Bluetooth devices. Now this is where we would grab our controller and we wanna to go to that Xbox button on the front and turn on our controller. So hold that down for a second. You're gonna see it starts flashing. And then we wanna take the button here at the top, the one with the three lines, just go ahead and push that down for a couple seconds and that light is gonna start blinking quicker and you're gonna see it pops up here on our list. Now you can see it also popped up here in the bottom right hand corner but on our list here, it says Xbox wireless controller. We can go ahead and left click on that and it's gonna start connecting our controller to our Windows 11 system. It says connected. When I close that, you can see it's connected up here at the top as well. And it's really that simple to connect your Xbox controller to your Windows 11 PC. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you connect your Xbox controller to your Windows 11 PC wirelessly. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. It's totally free and I'd love to have you join the Northern Viking community. Thank you so much for watching today and until next time, take care.